Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 2. In the last part, we defeated the bosses of Port's Domain, and I said bosses, but I meant boss. But we got an Electroder, which is an item that we just happened to pick up on the floor, and we decided to take with us, because that's what guard tamers do. It worked for us with the archive key, so why not? Uh, to actually use this Electroder, first we got to figure out what it is. And to figure out what it is, I guess you're supposed to randomly think, you know, we should go talk to somebody who knows something about it. And you think maybe the person who knows something about it is at Device Dome. Because that's where everything techie is done, I guess. So we're going to head to the Device Dome, which is right over here. Up a little bit. All right. So we're gonna head up here and talk to Technadonna, see if she knows anything about this Electroder, which is not a Pokemon. Sounds like it, kinda. Excuse me. Do you know what this is? Hey, aren't you that cute kid in the guard team? Yes. What? Well, wow. This is Electroder, a real high-powered one at that. This is gonna solve all my problems, great! Now let me experiment with the radar on your Digibeetle. Well, what experiment? What are you talking about? First, let me get forced access to your Digibeetle browser, then disable the protection and password and hack into your Digibeetle. No, what are you doing? Next, install the driver I created, then modify the radar system like this, blah, 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 and install the electroder. Snap, and it's done. An ordinary radar has been upgraded to a power radar. Now even the most powerful jammer will not be able to blind your radar. And I got a power radar. Really? Are you sure? Thanks. Of course, it's my creation. Trust me. And if you find something interesting again, bring it to me. Alright, so uh, we got a power radar. Which, if you couldn't guess, gets uh, lets us access the dark dungeons or domains over in the File Island continent. So now that we have access to those, let's go and do them. Shouldn't need any real restock, we didn't use that much. Um, I may go ahead and get a few more magnetic missiles, to be sure. Should be able to access the server from here, right? Yeah. Um, magnetic missile 4. Let's do that. Uh, go ahead and keep that. Don't need the mech fix. Yeah, we got plenty of space. Don't really pick up enough items anyway. That's my bad completely. You should probably pick up your items. I should probably pick up my items. Alright, so do we want to go to Scan or Giga next? I don't really remember what they consider us to... Or what they want us to do next. If we were to do it in a way that you would think, this would be first and then this one, because Factorial Town was a bitch in the first game. Eeny, meeny, money, mo, I pick this one here. Alright, so we're going to Giga. Even though I didn't click on Giga when I said here. But we're going to Giga. Voila! Great, I can see inside the domain! And see we must. We could technically have done this dungeon without the power radar, but it would have just been... It would have been a bitch. I like being able to see everything. Alright, so this is a vaccine domain. Uh, assuming that the next floor does not change to a different type, then we have picked the right direction. Let's go the other way. Why not? Gonna do some more expert dodging lessons. Oh, that is not how you expertly dodge. Yeah, expertly dodging into a room that has one step is not an expert dodge, unfortunately. So I either... Wait, what's the other one? They're both... Alright. Well... I'll be taking the lesser of two evils here, and I'll be fighting the Frigimon up here. Which I guess it could be my downfall, because the, the uh, teleporter could be right in that next room. 
but I don't care. So we are back. Uh, if you're wondering, these battles are extremely easy at this point. Uh, they wouldn't be if I like switched or D DNA digivolved my team. And look at that. Well, ah, well, I'm gonna cut to where I finished those two battles in that one room. So I will be right back. All right. So after this turn, I will actually be leveling up. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back here. And you're gonna see us own these people. That's why I'm going ahead just using Grizzly Wing to finish them off, even though there's only gonna be one left. Bye bye, Frigimon. Alright, so we'll level up here. Everybody will go to 29. Getting close to Mega! Getting close to Mega! Getting close to Mega, yeah! Oh, what bug do we have? I have Bit Bug. Fook it! Don't have to worry about bits. Got a shit ton of them. Alright, so is it this one? This is a great floor. This is a first floor. Another Bit Bug. 500 EP used on the first floor. This is why later on EP packs might need, might have a use. What do we have here? Ooh. Energy bug, actually, that was pr I probably, uh, especially, look at that. Oh, hey, look at that. Although, I wish it could have been an energy bug, because I think you can use the bit bug zap after it's already in your digi beetle. I'm gonna go ahead and test that real quick. I'm not really worried about it. Let's go ahead and see though. Status, digi beetle, actually condition. No, maybe I just use it straight from in here. It's been a while since I've used it this way. Yep, okay, cool. So uh, you can do it that way, if you wish. They are really uh, they're giving me a nice confusing floor layout. I think this is their way of saying, get ready for what's ahead. They're really going to make us go up here? Hmm. Oh, for a chest. EP pack? Nope. Well, we do have an EP pack in our backpack anyway, or our uh, toolbox, I guess is what they call it. So we don't have to worry too much about EP, although it would be nice to conserve some of it. Not by doing that. Because at this point, it probably would just be better if you were uh, a little bit worried. If you weren't fully upgraded, especially, you would probably restart the floor at this point. So this is a very weird layout. I mean, I think this layout's the same every time. It's just interesting that it was made this way, and I completely forgot it was this way to begin with. What? What? Guess it's that top, that middle one? How did I... Why did I not go this way? I'm, I don't know. Brain fart. This has been a great episode. Great episode. Just kidding, it's been shit. <laughs> uh, teleporter, please, no fight? Okay, cool. Well, we're done with floor one. See you in the next episode, guys. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not gonna be going quite that quick. Depending on how bad these floors go, maybe. Alright, so we still have Frigimon. I'm gonna be guessing the teleporter's up top, not down low. Let's head up here. Aha! Alright, so I'll be up. Oh. I was gonna be taking one fight, but I. This will be the fight I'm taking anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in. Strangely enough. We'll see how these guys do. Right, wing. Dark side attack. Uh, these are vaccines, so. What's his face will do the most damage? It'll kill Eightmon. 
Daramon will be doing the most damage here. Oh, other than, I guess, if he combined all of Andromon's attacks, he's technically doing the most damage, but uh, Daramon will be hitting the hardest, let's say it that way. Magical Tail! Bam! Yep, he's gone. <laughs> I'll probably conserve MP the next one as well. This is the way I do it with these battles. I, oh wow, never mind. I didn't know I'd take him out. Martina Tano. Well, I'm definitely gonna guard this time then. Guard, uh, guard, and attack. And that's how random battles go now. It's been a while since you've actually seen one, since most of these are old battles. But, you know, there you go. Battle that was maybe our best training method before, which gave us a little bit of trouble in fighting, is now just like, no problem. And next to the next level, we need quite a few battles. Not gonna probably level up again in this floor. Unless I get a lot of unlucky randoms. And I guess they're not so random on the actual floors. Not as random as I said the other ones were. Alright. Can't break that block. We do not have a block... Uh, drill Missile 5. Which is what I believe those breaks those. But we'll see what we can get down here. Oh! Leomon fight right off the bat. Do I risk going back around? Because that's a long way. This, this is an easy way to get rid of your energy really quickly. Because I feel like this is going to dead end. And you should probably... I should probably go with my gut. Because it went good with the last floor. Damn. It's got those, uh... Frigimon's trapped. Let's see what's in here. Mech fix. Like I said, not really useful. It'd be useful in uh, a few areas. Like later areas, uh, we'll spam the floor with acid stuff that you cannot block because you don't have the tires. The appropriate tires, at least. Alright, so the taste is to a safe floor. That's cool. Mm. Alright, so... One fight. Not too bad. Alright, so we did that. No problem. Alright, once again, another one I'm just going to cut out. It's the same fight as before, so uh, I'm going to have fun. Onward we go to floor five of the Giga Domain. And as I said earlier, since this floor has not changed to anything other than a vaccine type, I think we went to the right domain. I think the other domain would have been a mix. Oh, that was a quick one that we're going to still have to fight. Man, the more and more I think about it, the more I regret getting rid of Beast King Fist. Because that thing... Now that I know what it does, it freaking packs a wallop. So I think basically, what I, from what I can tell it does, and I'm going to have to cut out more fights. I'm going to be able to get past this one? I am. Uh, I'll go ahead and keep it on here so you can see it if it hits this high again. Uh, it basically takes the damage that you got hit and then adds your own damage on top of it. So it's not so bad if Andromon is the one here that's going to be hitting Leomon first. But let's see if, if Daramon gets the first hit. Okay, it's not going to be as bad. But it'll still be pretty, it'll still hit pretty hard. So see, it hit 57. So he's going to add his own damage onto it and hit me back with it. Eighty-five. Now, if Daramon would have done it, I would have hit him like a ninety or a hundred, and he would have hit me one hundred and thirty-five back. 
Okay, so you hit him 87, he would hit me with 135 back. He does a lot of damage. So I kind of regret getting rid of that move. I may try to go back and get it later. That's pretty powerful. And I don't have that many counters that are that useful. Alright. Um, I'm gonna Necromagic. This is gonna be a three turn battle because Vidramon will not die here. Unfortunately, will not die here. Uh, this may be a domain where, in between episodes, I will clear some of the floors. I won't. I may move on a couple floors, but all of these enemies that you see here will not be new ones, so you won't be missing anything. I'm just going to clear the floor and get close to a level up because I'm not going to have enough MP if I don't, and I don't want to face the final boss final boss. I don't want to fight the boss of this domain with little MP, so. Just preparation. Just pepper preparation. Gonna attack him with him. Don't worry too much about HP, that is, though, because we have full heal with Andromon, and uh, we're basically alive forever as long as we have that. Basically alive forever. Oh, and he's confused, as he's dead. Many people who die and uh, do not die at the same time are pretty confused about why they haven't died, yet died. I don't know. Onward. So, yeah, we still got the new enemies, if there are some, I'm assuming as with the other floors, won't show up until floor 11 or 12. So we'll go ahead and go through these floors and see if there's anything new. This is the treasure room floor. Lots of treasures. Vaccine week. Actually, it'd be helpful on this floor, but I don't think we have the cannon installed to actually use those. I don't believe, at least. Let's check that real quick. R cannon. Oh, we do actually have the R cannon. Sweet. So we'll be able to use that if uh, the boss, which I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, we get a preemptive return bug nest. That would have been a very sucky bug to have this late in the domain. Very sucky bug. Probably the worst. Memory bug is bad if you're trying to catch Digimon, but uh, return bug is the worst in general, I would think. Should have went the other way, I guess. Oh, actually, it's going to go back around and we get a second one. I don't think they stack, so we could technically use one of these in a random battle, or we'll just save it for later when we have another all-vaccine boss fight. Alright, so this floor, assuming there's nothing new, I'm gonna probably be clearing it out off-screen. And we'll pick back up at the end of the next episode. And what? No. The beginning of the next episode. What? Uh, that'd be weird. I'd be like, hey guys, welcome back to this, and we're done here. See you next time. Uh, but really, I will see you next time, and thank you for watching. Time to clear out some floors.